Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the Million Dollar Challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called Compound Return Investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at SBV and the potential impact on the market. We're also going to be looking at MMTLP and a link with GTS Securities. Uh, as well as that, we're also going to be doing an update for TENX. -T -E this was a stock that was featured in the previous video, so stay tuned for that. Let's first of all uh, get started with um, the impact on the market of SBV. So first of all, headline here from CBS News, and we can see what they uh, shared earlier today in terms of one of the headlines, trading of 12 regional bank stocks has been halted so um, i wonder why this happened so what is the reason for this so let's have a look at the nasdaq current trading halts if we have a look at these march 13 2023 uh, we can see a number of banks have been halted uh, i think most of these are on the new york stock exchange and uh, these include banks such as the, the bank of hawaii we've got the first public bank uh, we've also got the regional financial corporate uh, corporation amongst uh, uh, many others so why has this uh, happened so one theory is obviously um, you could say that basically we're looking at potential protection of the banks and that is could that could be one of the reason why um, they are being halted Let's now have a look at another angle with regard to how the Fed may uh, change its decision going forward. So shout out here to Joe Consorti, who stated here, Fed funds futures are now pricing in cuts. We're looking at minus 75 basis point worth of year end. So they may be looking for a change in the market. Definitely possible. Uh, so uh, the final thing I'd like to share with you is uh, something looking at the whole world uh, and what we are currently seeing. So if we look at a summary of the previous year, three years, uh, the world is definitely not the same and uh, it has been significant amount of changes so if we summarize these these include uh, a deadly pandemic millions dying suddenly and unexpectedly a climate catastrophe gender crisis and uh, we also got an energy crisis we've got a food shortage we've got a war turning into potentially world war three a banking collapse all to totally coincidental and i think one thing i would also like to add on to there is uh, obviously mmtlp what i now like to do is give a shout out here to rare dd for a very interesting post here so let's first of all have a look at the post in question so he's tagged in ari and he said the uh, wtf uh, we're looking at a figure here in excess of 5.774 billion dollars in security sold but not yet purchased. So um, again, very, very interesting here. MMTLP, how much of that is MMTLP and how much of that is MMAT? Who is FINRA protecting? Uh, tagging in the uh, SEC and also tagging in DTCC. Uh, and at the bottom, he also states here, is this the reason for the U3 halt? Uh, is this why there were not was no effort to ensure short positions were, uh, will close? Uh, of course, you protect an ex FINRA board member over investors, you are all criminals. So let's have a look at the data shared by Rare DD. So this is from uh, December the 31st, 2022 balance sheet for GTS Securities LL. Uh, see so at the top we see if we have a look at the assets so um, they have um, securities owned at fair value so we're looking at in excess of six billion dollars and then at the bottom under liabilities so liabilities are basically represent something that um, must be paid back uh, but we're looking at here securities sold but not yet purchased at fair value so we're looking at a figure there in excess of 5.774 billion dollars so the question i would like to ask uh, especially for gts securities uh, you've identified this as a liability so if it is a liability that means it is owed and it doesn't belong to you so if it doesn't belong to you and it's owed when will you pay this figure back uh, that is the question 
The next shout out I'd like to give is to Bristol Type 6. So uh, this is a post with regard to our current campaign of uh, creating more awareness. Uh, so it's stated here, call FINRA Ombudsman asking if there's any update to the mismanagement of MMTLP. So there's a number there. If anybody's not aware of this, 240-3866-270. It's also called Congressional Committee asking for help for $65,000, sorry, 65,000 plus investors of MMTLP whose accounts have been locked for approximately 94 days. So the number there, 202-225-7502. And the next shout out I'd like to give here is to my friend, Buddy Macy, who's uh, posted here, no losses will be borne by the taxpayer. It's the same as naked shorting with MMTLP and many small cats. Broker dealers, market makers, hedge funds sold what they didn't have and created shares out of thin air. Obviously, we're talking about synthetic shares or you, you could even say illegal shares. Now, the US Treasury Federal Reserve uh, have created cash out of uh, NADA and the SEC government has also got, uh, sorry, the SEC has also got to help out MMTLP because if uh, it, it could be a case of are you helping the elite uh, only uh, or are you going to help normal retail investors who have been huge victims of injustice with MMTLP? That is the question. I'd like to do a quick update for Tiximal TENX, also known as 10X Therapeutics. This was featured in the previous video with uh, some uh, detailed due diligence. So please go back to the previous video for details of uh, 10 uh, x so let's first of all start by having a look at uh, the chart for today we can see it's up at time of editing 8.83 uh, percent at 62 cents but uh, at one time it was trading uh, close to 78 cents uh, so a great opportunity to take profits uh, in excess of 25 percent uh, so uh, in terms of the key catalysts let's have a look here we've got the notice of allowance february the first issued in january we also have the uh, uspto which states that in around about eight weeks uh, uh, there could be news on the patent so as well as that we've got fda news coming so the patent right now could arrive any day so uh, we're looking at eight weeks from february so we're currently uh, kind of in the middle of march uh, and obviously there are no fda approved remedies yet so let's have a look at the issue of notice here uh, we can see highlighted in purple issue issuance of the notice of allowance the notice is for intent to use application informing the inventor that the patent will be issued about eight weeks from the March publishing date so uh, we are very close to that so that's certainly one thing that we're going to keep an eye on uh, so let's have a look at a quote here from Chris Giordo uh, 10x therapeutics chief executive officer he states here the notice of allowance represents an important milestone for the company's development of broad IP protection for the use of uh, I'm not going to state that to treat estimated 1.5 million plus patients in the United States who suffer uh, from PHHFPEF I'm not sure what that is but um, and who currently have no FDA approved therapies to treat the, uh, the condition the protections this patent will provide are based on key discoveries from the HELP study uh, the first study to demonstrate improved exercise tolerance in patients with this deadly disease so um, uh, great news there so basically what we also have in the previous video we looked at increased uh, obviously bullishness from price targets uh, so certainly this is a stock that we will continue to watch but it's going to be volatile, it's going to be having some strong pullbacks and it's certainly going to be high risk, high reward. Uh, so finally, if you'd like to get more stocks such as TENX, where we discussed them in Discord, uh, you can certainly join. Details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.